out of western New York after a magnitude 3.8 earthquake hit the region to start off this Monday. Ethan is in suburban Buffalo tonight with an explanation of what's happened and what it has been like today for people living there. Ethan, good evening. Eva, good evening. Here in West Seneca, just outside of Buffalo, it's been a strange day, but not a bad one. And for folks in western New York who have been through an awful lot in the last year, strange they can handle. That's better than what they've dealt with for most of the last calendar year. Around 6 o'clock this morning, about quarter after, right here in West Seneca, the earth started shaking and people didn't realize what was going on. We talked with people here in town, especially workers at the local donut shop who said they were trying to get ready for the day and all of a sudden, bang, they thought that their plaza had been hit by a semi-truck or a snowplow, but instead they learned about an hour later it was that magnitude 3.8 earthquake that had hit this region centered right here outside of Buffalo. Now, believe it or not, one of the nation's leading experts in earthquakes works right here in western New York in the University at Buffalo, just north of the city. We talked with him earlier today and asked him, OK, this has happened. It's also happened in the past a couple of times in Buffalo, though not to this extent. Could it affect us in Erie? He said it's possible because in situations like this, you can't really predict what Mother Nature might do. Uh, we're all on to what is called the intraplate zone. It's, it's the, the North American craton that goes from the Rockies to the Appalachians and goes from the Arctic to mid-continent. And the seismology in that plate is pretty much what we call intraplate events, uh, which are extremely hard to predict because they're not frequent. And, uh, they, they, they can happen in ways that the faults are not as well mapped as, say, the San Andreas Fault, where everybody can identify to the, to the meter where it is. And so uh, we're in that zone. And so it's very similar, I think, what we can expect in Erie and Buffalo. But again, Mother Nature is full of surprises. One of those things that at least at this stage in human history, we're not able to predict. One wonders if in the future, even earthquakes may be able to be predicted ahead of time. Even one other quick thing to mention. This is a magnitude 3.8 earthquake. Over in Turkey, that's 7.8. Now that's not two, three, four times as bad. The Richter scale is logarithmic and thus exponential, meaning that the difference between a three and a four, 10 times as bad. Three to five would be 100 times. So when you get to the point of talking 3.8 compared to 7.8, you're talking thousands of times more severe. And that is why we saw the destruction that we did overseas today. Coming up on Erie News Now at 6, We'll hear from people as they discuss this last year in Buffalo, everything from a mass shooting to two incredible winter storms. Damar Hamlin nearly dying on a football field, and now, why not, an earthquake. We'll have their reaction in about half an hour. For now, though, in West Seneca, Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now. A very resilient community, nonetheless.